Hello there, peoples of YouTube and what have you. It's me, Rob Tackle Box here for another Rob Tackle Box Reviews. As you can see, I'm out here in the backwoods. Man, I'm tired. I've been hunting Sam Squatches all day. And well, it's sad to say that I'm going to have to inform you my good buddy Sam Squatch has put out a commission. Miss Mom McKay done grounded him and uh, told him what he can. He can't have them drinks much no more. So she ain't letting him do the reviews as often, and I don't feel they're coming. She's done put him on restriction. Whooped his ass a few times. And the mighty Sam Squatch is out of commission for the time being. Sad news. I've been combing these woods left and right looking for him, but he ain't coming in out here, man. But we're going to do a review today anyway in honor of Sam Squatch. And, buddy, I wish you could be here and taste this delicious beverage with me. But since you can't, you can watch me enjoy it. It will be a wonderful experience. Today, out here in the wilderness, we're going to review this here. Founders, Dirty Bastard. What better name for a beer for me to drink than Dirty Bastard by Founders? Let's see here what it says. I like that. There's a lid right there for you. It's got the Founders bordered on the their bottle, whatever you want to call that. Let's see here. A Scotch Style L. It is 8.5% alcohol by volume, 50 international bitter units and uh might be the highest i've done i can't remember what them there samuel i'm for pretty sure this highest one i've done bitter units wise dirty founders dirty bastard so good it's almost wrong i'll be the judge of that dark ruby in color and brewed with seven varieties of imported malts complex and finish with hints of smoke and peat, whatever the hell, peat, is that like off-brand meat? I don't know. Paired with malty richness and a right hook of hot power to give it the bad attitude that a beer named Dirty Bastard has to live up to. Ain't for we lads, uh-oh. Hoping not we lad. Government warning, no thank you. Founders Brewing Company, Grand Rapids, Michigan, or Minnesota, what the hell I, am I is. I ain't going up there all I know. Okay, let's see. Anything else good on here? Foundersbrewing.com is their site. If you want to go check them out, foundersbrewing.com. Brewed for us. Who fucks us? Sounds like some hippie bullshit. And it's not a twist off, I can tell you that right now. I gotta dig in my keys and my pockets and mother phone. Hell, got too much shit in here. Get my bottle opener. See, not try to break this bottle. I'll get this here. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. Okay, it's got a something under the lid. Under the lid there it says, brewed for us. They're really pushing that brood for us. She that sounds like some hipster nonsense, but uh, I'll let it go if it tastes all right. Got the good old skull glass. We're gonna check this color out. Port. Oh, that's some thick. That's some thickness. It's changing colors. Get all that, get all that good out there. Okay, it is a rosy, what did they call it? A dark ruby color, I'll agree with them. Some light on there, it's a little bit lighter, but it's pretty dark and got a little thin in this glass. A little thin, uh, kind of a brown, uh, tan head on that there. Tan head. Oh, got me a table, man. I'm moving up in the world. Smell this son of a bitch. This dirty bastard. Let's smell this dirty bastard. Of course, I got this because it's called Dirty Bastard. I mean, I like the name alone, so it better be good. With a name like Dirty Bastard, you're hoping for some good, some good drink. 
Okay, the smell is... Hmm. I'm not the best with these smells, like I can tell you. Ugh, clear them sinuses. Yeah, it just smells like beer to me. Like I said, I can't pick up on all these. I'm guessing it's a hop smell, because that's what all beer has. And I'm not picking up anything extravagant in the smell. I'm going to taste it and see how bad it is. Not bad. Not bad. I was expecting name like Dirty Bastard. Hey, man. You might not even want to know what you're drinking. Uh, trying to... It's kind of got a coffee beer taste to it. That's the closest thing I can find now. It's kind of got that coffee kind of groundy dirty earthy taste to it not bad like I said it's not not great in my book but to be eight what was it eight point five I think Oop, to do eight point five percent so that's a pretty good percentage for a burr it does not taste like it. it's 8.5 percent i'll give it that i like that it's got a good taste to it i don't see any sediment or anything there's definitely some particles floating <clears throat> just a little bit oh lordy yeah but it's got that tan tan head on it like a pancake it looks like a pancake Yeah, I'm getting like earthy, earthy coffee grounds, a coffee kind of taste to it. Uh, damn, yeah, it just tastes sort of like a organic. I don't know how to explain it better than that. Not bad, but uh, it's not like an everyday drinker. This is like have one or two occasionally. It's like I said, I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's great. It's a dirty bastard. It does. It tastes like dirt, kind of. It's a dirty bastard, tastes like dirt. It might just. So what y'all doing today? Like I said, I've been back here in these woods doing Sam Squatch calls and looking for him. I ain't seen that eight foot bastard, but uh, sad news is he's out of commission right now. So I ain't got no beer reviewing to throw at nobody. That was my only, my only friend in the business. He's been put down. Mama K done trank darted him and put him on a schedule. I hear he can sip a, a, a one of them non-alcoholic beers from time to time on the weekends if he's good. But uh, poor feller. Everybody got there and light him a candle and say a prayer to sweet baby Jesus for Sam Squatch. <sighs> Tucked down before his prime. He's just a boy. Why'd you gotta do it to him? Oh lordy. But yeah. Dirty Bastard by Founders Brewing. Brewed for us since 1997. Hell, that's when I graduated. 1997. It's so old, man. This is an old ass beer. 1997. They've been around brewing this shit. The company, anyway. Not brewing this necessarily. I do like that bottle, though. That son bitch right there looks familiar. That's probably family. I got a little bit of Scottish. Definitely a dirty bastard. Scotch style ill. What the? That's the first one for me. What the hell's a Scotch style ill? There ain't no Scotch in it. It ain't. Just baffle me with all these here terms. But it's pretty okay. I'd say try it at least. It's not bad. I was kind of expecting it to be too bad. Being eight point five. That's getting into that realm where it could taste like you're drinking some whiskey and uh and dirt so that's what some of them other dark dark beers taste like to me tastes like somebody dropped a whiskey and a beer and some coffee and put some dirt in there and you chew on it this doesn't have that chewing mouth feel I like that and i'd say about medium 
on the body. It's not it's not thick. It's not hard to drink, but it's not like light, light. Nothing for sure. Obviously, I do like the color. It looks like coffee, kinda. But yeah, it's all right. I'd say go out there and try you some. I wouldn't. I'm not raving and ranting about it, but I ain't putting it down either. It's a pretty good beer for what it is. Dirty bastard by Founders. Go check you out some, and uh, please say y'all a prayer for the Sam Squatch, cause like I said, he's been took out of commission. Too young, too young, man. If anybody else got some suggestions on some beers, I'm in Alabama, so if anybody's watching around here, something good I can try uh, that's available, or hell, just send me a, a suggestion, I'll try to find it. Or like I said, just just holler at me, comment, subscribe, please, like the video, and. Uh, Shit, just holler and say how, howdy to me. I'm, I'm bored over here. Let me know. I'm out here looking for damn Sam Squatches, for Christ's sakes. I got nothing better to do. Pet my kitties and look for Sam Squatch. You always got to pet a pussy. Y'all pet y'all's pussies now.